hey everybody welcome back to another episode of our let's play series i hope you guys are all having a great day today i am doing fantastic i want to thank everybody for the feedback on the first episode amazing thank you guys you're awesome today's episode is going to be a lot of fun first and foremost we are now on minecraft 1.20 the official update because it released right after i posted the video so no more release candidate for us that also means that I have mods now like Lightmatica. So check the link in the description for everything that I'm using, of course. Today's episode is going to be a lot of fun. We're doing the interior of the base today. We got to explore more. I want to find some archaeology stuff to get into. We need to go to the nether uh, because I want to find a saddle. Plus fortresses have potential for diamonds. So that's huge. We need that early game. So lots to do today. But the main thing we got to do to get going, we got to find cocoa beans. Guys, we cannot build a Neapolitan house. Uh, ice cream house basically <laughs> an anime house without chocolate insides okay so we got to get the cocoa beans gonna be a lot of fun so as always with these uh exploring type of videos any extra exploring content that i don't post in this video will be on the second channel check the link in the description for that so the first thing we got to do is i'm going to get geared up we got to find a new nether portal and we're going to get going so hopefully we can find a fortress pretty quickly otherwise it's going to suck but Oh, and by the way, I want to, um, I don't know if I have any feathers. I'll have to get feathers. So I need to find copper. So I'm going to take a furnace fuel and things like that with me so that I can make some brushes as well. Dude, I'm the luckiest person ever. I swear to God. So we literally just dug straight down into like a cave to find lava, right? So nether portal, we just get to the nether. What's up? Like literally right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there oh my god uh so first chest diamond saddle warts diamond saddle warts okay we got one of the things that we were looking for we got warts okay oh another chest oh okay got a saddle good to go good to go uh soul sandal really need that all right i'm gonna keep looking oh my god three diamonds let's go dude i got so lucky with another i'm really happy that it went as fast as it did now now that we're back here's the loot that i got uh six diamonds saddle um that, that was some wart that was really about it the three diamonds as well but uh mostly the saddle <laughs> uh all right i'm trying to tame a horse here we're gonna use the b-dubs method and turn friendly creatures and sounds way up okay he's actually seems kind of fast okay go. <laughs> let's turn that down so we don't make our ears bleed wow okay no i'm actually very happy with that wow okay we got a decently fast spaced uh paced horse um and he jumps pretty high seems pretty cool so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop this stuff off and then i think we're going to head north because in the first episode i explored south quite a bit so i kind of want to go a different direction I just want to show you guys this cool generation right so we have a shipwreck here there's like multiple shipwrecks around here a huge huge mushroom field and island over there uh not to mention there is a monument in front of us and then on the other side of the island over there there's two other monuments so this area which is like 1300 negative 1300 negative 2000 is ridiculous and i can't even get in here so I'm hoping to find like a oh I was just, just about to say I was hoping to find a smithing template that's actually hilarious um okay let me see this is coast armor trim like I said I did a bunch of research on this and I'm not going to be looking at any cold ocean monuments or anything like that or like a, like ruins I want warm because we want the sniffer so So my journeys have taken me to a desert. Oh yeah. So that's exciting. We also have Mesa. Current cords are negative 3,500, negative 4,600. So let's take a look around because we're looking for like uh, points of interest, really. Um, 
the desert wells desert temples there's a temple over there so let's check that out okay so now that we have put our loot away let's go ahead and start looking for the suspicious sand i mean obviously it's a different texture i think all of this is just regular sand so you can use f3 to your advantage here first off let's break some blocks out of the way okay get rid of some of this like i said this was all regular sand so we'll break this out of the way now obviously the sand is a little bit different looking but you can find it on the the f3 screen i'll hover over it right now for you it'll tell you to set f3 so let's right click and see what we get here oh my god that's so exciting oh that's so cool so we got a remnant a skull pottery okay now i i don't know how far these like go down so maybe we just oh oh there's a stair <laughs> i don't know if that's supposed to be there or not but let's keep looking interesting okay so i'm guessing it uses the loot table from the 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 monument here like the temple it's what it kind of seems like because i got a diamond and some like sh i got a shard and then i got tnt which is interesting like imagine you're an archaeologist and you find like tnt <laughs> wouldn't that just be wild dude okay i to be honest with you though like i have no idea how far to go down is the thing right like where do i how far do i keep going okay uh i'm assuming we should probably check behind us too this seems like all sandstone though okay maybe i just keep looking i did break like one or two pieces already though just by mining too fast you really really have to be careful it's kind of crazy so i thought i was losing my mind earlier there's a lot of spawner right here oh my god i actually don't think there is any more sand here apparently but that's fine i'm not too worried about it um we can definitely find more so i found three pieces here this time um let's break this spawner there we go oh my god there's so many zombies let's kill all the zombies and get all the loot baby okay what's our loot golden apple and nothing ah, you know what i'll take that name tag okay well not too bad for our first attempt here like uh probably did a few things wrong feel free to let me know if i messed up any i'm in my second temple now and it's crazy like how bad i felt earlier compared to now like i took a break got some food i feel much much better uh and another thing right it's crazy how the loot is like almost an afterthought now it's like you see this and you want to immediately start like sifting <laughs> i have no idea oh it's gunpowder yeah it's gunpowder okay uh i don't see any more on the surface I, the thing that i'm still learning about these is like i'm not really sure how big they are right that's one thing that's probably going to take a little bit of time to get like a better understanding of to like you know need to know how far that i, I need to dig basically so uh don't see any more just yet but i'm assuming they can't be that hard to find i hope i get another shard oh more gunpowder sad okay let's keep doing it this is fun okay tnt it's so odd to like see tnt come out of the ground you would think like the it would be like more broken stuff because it's like it's supposed to be pottery right like i don't know Oh, another TNT. I really want the broken shards. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, some more gunpowder. Okay. So I finally found a very large uh, warm ocean. This is where you get the sniffer eggs. So, um, man, there's like ships everywhere. I literally didn't even see the one right in front of me there. I'm going to drink this potion and go down i've already been digging down there because i wanted to make sure that i knew it was going to be down here so i found a piece here so let's go ahead and dust her oh it's a gold nugget sad what's this one that's an axe okay so not very good so far get rid of that uh get rid of that 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 let's uh get rid of this stuff real fast and see if we can find any more treasure map i may do that one later but right now i am focused on this stuff i want that sniffer egg 
must get sniffer. Lame. Ah, I don't want no iron axe. Give me sniff. Oh my god, finally! Oh, that took so long. Oh, that took like two hours of just non-stop looking. I finally got a sniffer egg. Oh, thank god, dude. I am so glad I'm done with that. Oh my god. So I am finally home. Oh my lord. It took roughly three hours over a day and a half to find a single sniffer egg, which is why the video wasn't out on Sunday like it was supposed to be. I tried, guys. I really did. So with that being said, here are the things that we got on our travels. Now, I think I already put my diamonds. No. So we it says we have 23, but I actually had 11 already. So we found 12 diamonds on our travels, a bunch of like iron and gold and emeralds. We, I actually got quite a bit of emeralds just from brushing. Um, on top of that, we got some TNT, which is good. We might be able to get some early game debris from that. Um, name tag, heart of the sea, saddles. So the fun things that we got were a shelter, two of the shelter sherds, uh, skull, snort, and angler. I got uh, dune armor trim and coast armor trim from desert. And you know, the funny thing was, is I didn't see a single camel. I have to go back and look, I think. Four Nautilus shells, Apple, and then finally, Mr. Sniff Sniff. So with that being said, we're going to need a name. You know, I had a horse. You know, I don't know what actually happened to that horse. Ooh. <laughs> I was going to have you guys name the horse, too. <laughs> okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Okay. Well, I don't know if you guys actually know this or not, but if you put the sniffer egg on moss, it will actually cure. Oh, that is definitely the wrong block. It will actually hatch, like cure and hatch like 50% faster. So that's what we're going to do. I know these boys are pretty big, so I'm going to do this and put it right here. There we go. And then there we go. So, you know, do your thing, Mr. Sniff Sniff. So in the meantime, while Mr. Sniff Sniff is doing his thing, we are going to move to working on the inside of the base. This thing is a mess. But we're about to turn it into something beautiful because I don't know, man, I, I like building like general houses like this, but I feel like my passion now is almost interiors just because I feel like I'm getting really good at them. And I have a good feeling you're going to really like what I'm going to do. So again, we're going to be doing a static time lapse just because replay mods not updated yet. Uh, so enjoy.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse. Uh, by the way, the outside of the base is getting some special treatment next episode. I'm not a fan. Like, I like these trees. Don't get me wrong. But I think I'm going to do custom trees. Uh, just, you know, put a little bit of a touch on it. So let's get to the interior of the base, right? Now, I want to give you guys a tip. Uh, whenever you're dealing with any type of small interior, uh, I would, I feel like, the best way to handle that is all about space management, right? Uh, space management is everything. So you're going to see a lot of times I would use like much, much bigger walls, right? Like actual full blocks or slabs. But in this situation where I don't have a lot of space, I need to use a lot of trap doors because those are very, very good walls. So when you walk in, um, defined spaces right so we have sort of our our foyer our entryway right we get storage lighting primitive design special type of floor uh and then when we want to go upstairs again defined spaces so um again going back into the to the back ladder part of the house we have an anvil furnace some more decor like another map some more storage and then again this is sort of its own area that we may use uh for something a little bit different later on uh then we have sort of our back door right um making everything it, it makes it seem bigger if you have it as a separate area if i'm standing in this room and it's just a chest it's going to seem very small but because i've got you know three to four rooms in the very first part of the house it makes it feel a lot bigger so let's go upstairs um all right i want to i think i'm gonna put some more of these on the wall somewhere i think i want to put one right here too we used the uh other one before so let's do trigger if invisible again there we go uh actually you know what that's not a very good spot for that i think i'm gonna put it over here i like them uh with the, the back uh being brown there we go okay so when you come upstairs this is going to be our sort of main starter base area um trying to just get some storage in here and sort of define this space again using the new bookshelves i'll probably actually store some enchanted books on there too for right now it's more decor uh, i try to put glow berries in any base that i'm doing because it's just lush and it's green and it kind of gives it a better feel right so it makes it look really good so not too much to say about the storage space again define spaces just using special oh that is not placed right hold on there we go okay just making sure i got everything else uh did a little bit of design work in the ceiling here L not a lot of room but we did make it work pretty well so coming through the wall here this is our bedroom and as much as as small of a space this is the way that i did this it made it really feel a lot more spacious than what it really was and i'm very happy with the way that this turned out so walk in uh just the corner map um i'll eventually want to change those out i think i'm not really sure yet more of the same and then sort of a little bunk bed area this is perfect for our starter base this is gonna suffice us well for uh, maybe 10 15 episodes and then we'll probably move to something a little bit bigger um by the way sniffy boy is now full send over here we're gonna mess with him in just a minute um so i i like the outside of the base as well but i definitely need to do a lot of terraforming unfortunately I, i'm not really set up for that just yet i need to make uh new tools new weapons new armor so i'm probably gonna have to go caving again soon 
which is no big deal but uh let me know what you guys think about uh our interior i really like it a lot actually i think it turned out pretty well okay so mr sniff sniff by the way we actually really do need a name for him so let me know down in the comment section below what you think uh i need to let him free because he's gonna roam and then eventually he's going to want to find ancient seeds which is exciting <laughs> he's so slow oh my god uh in the meantime i want to take a piece of armor and let's actually look at the coast trim that we have because we have five of those if i can find it where did i put it there we go hey are you uh finding me seeds dude did you find anything nope he's like i'm sniffing i'm sniffing <laughs> it's ridiculous looking uh let's see what coast looks like uh oh i need a uh modifier let's do lapis did you find anything yet he's just kind of he's just kind of chilling okay lapis uh that's kind of ugly but what it's to be expected it's like the first one that you find so obviously you know yeah, that's actually pretty cool looking okay not bad not bad i'm excited to use more of those hey did you uh happen to find a seed yet so just just reading about this guy like uh this says the sniffer wonders aimlessly avoiding hazards and obstacles they occasionally smell their surroundings and track ancient seeds by pressing their nose to the ground when they find a seed they sploot and use their nose to dig into the ground until they get a torch flower seed or a pitcher pod. Oh my God, we got one. We got a torch flower seed. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> it took him probably about five to 10 minutes to actually get this seed that's interesting i have no idea what this torch flower seed does so when we come back next time uh we're gonna have some more fun with the sniffer i also want to try to find some camels and maybe get some some bamboo wood going too we also need to figure out an xp farm and we're gonna move into the base so we got a pretty full episode coming up next time too hopefully within the next three to four days either either be that or hermitcraft so i hope to see you guys then and i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And I hope you guys all have a good one. This is iJevin. Peace out, everybody.